Look at this one. Oh my God, it's Ron Weasley. Uh-uh. <laughs> Not the least qualified wizard breaking into my house. I can't abide. <laughs> my little swish of sweet. I hope you are doing so so well this week y'all just feeling well and whole and fed and rested. If you can't do the first two at least do the second two please y'all please take care of yourself okay. <laughs> it's rough out here. <laughs> so this week I really was unsure if we were gonna even have a video. Y'all know it's my birthday month I got a lot going on. And that's also why I've been kind of like playing catch up a lot kind of dragging around figuring out what I'm gonna do but uh, I pulled myself together <laughs> and in fact we're doing one of the movies that y'all suggested for Pride Month. I'm very excited to discover this week's movie is Knock at the Cabin. This came out this year or yeah I think it came out this year. I don't know anything about it other than that it's gay and it's an M. Night Shyamalan movie and y'all even before I was a horror girly I was into the M. Night Shyamalan films. I have seen most of them. I grew up on them and I always considered them more like mysterious thrillers than horror even though they did scare the living shit out of me. I don't know it was approachable for some reason because it's like oh I'm trying to figure out the mystery. It's not just naked fear. <laughs> I haven't seen some of the newer ones like Split because it looked like actually very disturbing disturbing and I was like I don't know about that. And also I just didn't want to see Mr. Tumnus acting all serial killery so <laughs> I haven't watched it. But if y'all actually are excited to see that movie, if that's something y'all are interested in watching together, I feel like now I've been galvanized by this experience so I could do it if y'all want to do it let me know. So yeah I'm a fan of these films. Obviously we all know some of them are incredible, some of them are <laughs> not. <laughs> That's not to say that they aren't fun to watch like even the ones that people think are the very worst ones or the very stupidest ones whatever um, your criticism might be. I still have fun watching them so I am excited to see this movie. I'm not sure how it did critically but y'all suggested it and I want to see it so we're gonna do it. <laughs> mm, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to gleam from these drawings. But they are upsetting. <laughs> Forget your daily lives, folks. <laughs> we are in a horror situation. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Mm. Mm. The simple joy of catching a cricket. I remember those days. <laughs> what a little cutie. It's okay. Relax. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to learn about you for a little while. I'm gonna name you Caroline. After my friend at school, she's really nice. The but spelling. Forced to class sometimes <laughs> and pretends like she did. So please don't do that. You're sharing the store now, and the others won't like you if you smell. Okay? She said community is important. <laughs> Think of your neighbors. Do you know him? You don't know him? Go in the house, babe. Go, go, go in the house, baby. Go in the house. Hi there. Stranger danger. I'm not from around here, but I was hoping to make some new friends. With a child? Can I talk to you for a little bit? Hell no. I don't talk to strangers. Good job, little one. Of course you don't. You should. You're smart. But I'm here to be your friend. Ah! Uh -uh. What's your name? One line. But everyone calls me one. What a pretty name. Nice Please go in the I'm house. Sorry. No. And it has nothing to do with your big self or your tattooed so appearance. It's the grown madness of it all. You're a stranger man. I love catching grasshoppers when I was your age. Oh, you're really good. Thanks, one. You're just a natural, or did someone teach you how to catch grasshoppers? Teddy Eric taught me. You call your dad by his first name? It's so they know who I'm talking to. Daddy Eric and Daddy Andrew. Two dads. All the other kids at school only have one dad. Mm -hmm. All the Disney Channel shows only have one dad, too. <laughs> you're blessed. <laughs> Does that bother you? No, except when my guidance counselor keeps saying how it's so great that I have two dads. For some reason it makes me feel like she's saying the opposite. <laughs> yeah, don't other me. <laughs> I'm fine. What's wrong? Nothing. How old are you when? I'll be at age six days. Well, happy almost birthday. It just so happens. If you pull candy out that pocket. I but... saw it and I thought it was pretty, so consider it an early birthday present. We'll take turns pulling petals off and asking questions. And by the time we're done, we'll know each other better. Okay. What's your favorite movie? Kiki's Delivery Service. Oh, taste! Why are you 
ear? Good question, baby. What? What are you looking at? Oh, I suppose I'm here to make friends with you. Your dad's. Maybe touch some more grasshoppers. How'd you get that tiny little scar on your head? My lip is broken when I was born. Well, I don't have a scar like you, but if you could look inside, you'd see that my heart is broken. Why is it broken? I'm sorry, but what the fuck? This is what I have to do today. Oh, God. What do you have to do? Honestly, Eric and Andrew are testing my patience. Where the fuck are they? Who the fuck are y'all? They're friends. You're my friend, what? No matter what happens, I want you to remember that. The others who are coming are more like people I work with. It might be the most important job in the history of the world. Oh, have mercy. What are you kidding? Please, this don't bring that over here. You haven't done anything wrong. But I'm afraid the three of you are going to have to make some tough decisions. Terrible decisions. And I wish with all my broken heart that you didn't have to. When? Your dads won't want to let us in. You have to tell them they must. Otherwise, we're going to have to find our own way in. Do you understand? What the fuck? Wynn, tell me you understand. Kill them, Wynn. <laughs> Uh, that poor sweet baby. What are y'all on about, seriously? Yeah, actual proof. There she is. You didn't need to check on her. You have to come inside right now. They're strangers and you want to come in and they're scary. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Hurry what do you mean? Whoa, whoa, slow down. Did you just hear what the baby said? It's okay. Listen, sweetie. What scared you? There were four of them. The big one, his name's Leonard. He says we have to help them. He says they have the most important job in the history of the world. Job as witnesses. Y'all are pissing me off. <laughs> Like, your child is terrified. Jehovah's Witnesses? Bitch, please. Why would she be so afraid of some Bible thumpers? Hello in there. My name's Leonard, and I'm here with some associates of mine. Put some clothes on right door, now, please? Jonathan Groff. <laughs> this guy's pretty huge. Hi. Uh, hello, Leonard. We... Is that Daddy Andrew or Daddy Eric? <laughs> already. She's so thoughtful and kind. You two should be very proud. Yes, she's lovely. This is Eric. Is there something we can help you with? Why don't you open the door? It would be easier if we speak face to face. A oh, fuck now, Tell Leonard. Oh, I please make him go away. I don't want to sound rude, but we'd like to be left alone. And I'm sorry to intrude on your vacation, but you should know that this isn't easy for us either. The four of us, we never thought we'd be here talking to you nice people. I'm gonna be shitting! <laughs> like, what are you well, talking I'm about? With you. We're here with Sabrina, Adrian, and Redmond. We're trying to save a whole bunch of people. Can't do anything without you. No. This is a nice cabin. Do y'all own it or are you renting? Sorry, irrelevant, but you know. This can't be right. There's no dial tone. What? Excuse me, cell phones. Is there no service out here? We don't have a choice. Yeah, well, we don't have a choice either. We're calling the cops. We know you can't do that. None of our phones get service out here either. Girl. Sorry, we have to cut the phone line. Wynn is like, I ain't no bitch. <laughs> you want to talk this? Why do you have those scary weapons with you? Not weapons, Wynn. They're tools. Out that door. We're coming in either way. The hell you are? I have a gun. You brought it here. Yes, I know. It's in the safe in the back of the truck. Show us what you're packing, Daddy Andrew. <laughs> Fuck you know? for real. I'm giving you one last chance to open the door. Or what? Y'all need to be gathering weapons of your own. <laughs> Protect Wynn. <laughs> Shoes, pants, weapons. Wynn is so real. I am so connected to this little girl. I'm already disgusted with what she's being put through. Oh my God. She's so pretty and smart. Oh my God, she's so cute. Baby. <laughs> Those windows can be broken in no time. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh my God, it's Ron Weasley. Uh-uh. <laughs> God, no. I'll be damned. Hell no. Not the least qualified wizard breaking into my house. I can't abide. You need to put the baby on your back to be real. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> to put your baby down is crazy. What do you mean stop? You broke into my home. Like, I'm sorry, but I might have to kill you. We have to go, Daddy. What's wrong with him? Why is he just, he hit his head? They are in the home. Why are you swinging an ax at me? What is that thing? I don't even know what that is. Damn, you got hands, Daddy Andrew. <laughs>
They're holding your daughter. That's why you don't put the baby down. Don't shush her. Andrew, it's enough. Who are y'all? <laughs> I like your fridge. Excellent. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Jonathan. The parents are making it so uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, are you that mad I'm gay? Why'd you come over for tea? <laughs> like, fuck off, please. They drove for seven hours and stayed 45 minutes. <sighs> Sorry. What do you expect? Nothing, I guess. It's upsetting for you, though, babe. That's my mom asking how it's going. Oh. Well, you can tell you were wrong. Andrew. Always together. Damn. I'm growing very affectionate for all of the parties. I do not want to watch them suffer. <laughs> so very important. Is that better? What's going on? Are these is he tied up? They're like restoring the house. Don't sass me. <laughs> you broke in, you bitch. Up. You did his head very hard. I've never watched this show before, but, but I like it. Dave, shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> like, you gotta be kidding me. I get the sense that he explores and teaches empathy and tolerance. And it's just lovely. Empathy. <laughs> tolerance? Is that what you're here to talk about now that you have the queers tied up? <laughs> I'm tied to a chair. <laughs> and I assure you that we're not here with hate or prejudice. And <laughs> not at all. I would have tied you up gay or not. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, well, <laughs> it should not be funny, but it well, is. Well, I guess if you promise, then I have to believe you. <laughs> We're normal people just like you. Can everyone come in here, please? It's almost time. Hi, Eric. When? And Andrew. My name is Sabrina. I have been a post-op nurse for five years. I used most of my savings to come here to talk with you guys. <laughs> I have the last sister. And when? Remind me of her. Does she know what you out here doing? What is this? Well, thank you. You guys already know my name's Leonard. Hi, Leonard. Good. Catching grasshoppers, right, one. Sorry, but Andrew is real. He's like, I'm not about to sit here and listen to this without even trying to get free. My name's I'm Raymond. I like long walks on the beach. We already discussed this thing. Deserve to know who we are. Doesn't change what we have to do. Crazy as shit. Okay, my turn is. I work for the gas company. I'm single. If you don't believe that. Uh, oh, I believe it, bitch. <laughs> I some time. Did a lot of uh, questionable stuff when I was young and stupid. You are the least comforting of the four. <laughs> if you're tr trying to recruit us. You think they want you to join a cult? you're trying to change us. This isn't the <laughs> Right, we are going to kill you at the first <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> What's wrong with Eric? We have a concussion. You're extremely sensitive to light. So you have to do with the curves. Uh. So, whatever. I'm, um, I'm Adrian. <laughs> oh, God. I was a line cook. I love to feed okay. people. Feels like it's more than food to me. I have two cats. Riff and Raph. <sighs> do you like cats? I mean, those are cute cat names, but bitch. Get the curtains. It's time. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Look at baby Wynn, she's so scared. The four of us are here to prevent the apocalypse. Err? Uh? We can stop it from happening. Ultimately, whether the world ends or not, it's completely up to you three. You are having a psychological break of some kind. <laughs> Seek help. <laughs> not from me. Your family must choose to willingly sacrifice one of the three of you in order to prevent the apocalypse. No. The answer is no. <laughs> an impossible decision. You must then kill the one you choose. No! <laughs> you fail to follow through with the sacrifice. Uh, the world will end. Okay then. Say goodbye! <laughs> Nothing would convince me to believe you. Not a damn thing. There's no way I would believe you. <laughs> Why would I believe that? And you will only live long enough to witness the horror of the end of everything. What? You will be left to wander the devastated planet alone. What? Permanently and cosmically. How do you know this, Leonard? Leonard, you haven't done anything wrong to deserve this burden. Then why we? 
You're just the family chosen to decide for us in this time. If we wanted to hurt you, we would have used duct tape instead of rubber. You stop. <laughs> Honestly, all you do is throw no, kerosene on the fire. And we will not choose who is to be sacrificed for you. And just as importantly, we cannot act for you. And you cannot kill yourselves. We're not choosing anyone. We're not what? sacrificing anyone. Not now. That's not insane. Ever. Even if it means the death of everyone else in the world. Yes. Even if I believe the world was at stake, which I don't, that's what it means. <laughs> Andrew is so mean. die a hundred times over before having a crush. They're never going to choose to do this. What? Would you? I don't blame them. Okay, then. <laughs> screwed. Why are you the arbiters of this? I've been shown exactly what will happen if you choose not to make a sacrifice. We've all been shown. That led us to each other, and, and that led us here. <laughs> we have no idea why we were picked. Oh, please. Even less reason to go through with this. First, the cities will drown. The oceans will swell and rise up and drag <sighs> everything out to sea. There is something wrong with you. Baby, find a padded cell. Then a terrible plague will descend. People will writhe with fever and mucus will fill their lungs. Uh. This is psychotic. Do you try to get help? Let right. us go right. and we'll get you help. <laughs> the skies will fall and crash to the earth like pieces of glass. And God's fingers will scorch the earth. God's fingers? Don't this is so weird and stupid. But what? Sound like every fake doom's there on every corner of every city. Eat him up, Andrew. <laughs> Dreams can have many different meanings. <laughs> Shaman Eric. Our part in your visions is kind of vague. This makes sense. Right, correct. For every mill you give us, we will unleash a plague for the sins of humanity. Will you make a choice? Like, I'm sorry, but no. We'll start the plague unleashing. I need to see it to believe it. What is this formation you're getting into? Wait. What are you doing? What? What? What are you doing? Don't touch the baby. Don't touch her. Don't! Get out! Get out of there! Baby, oh my god. What are you about to do? Don't kill yourself or something weird in front of us. What are you doing? What are you about to do? Why are you putting on a swim cap? What? I'm scared. Okay, us too. Let's not do this. I would absolutely look away. <laughs> Sorry. Whatever this is, I don't have to see it. What are y'all doing? Are y'all gonna kill him? Yeah, when definitely don't look. Part of humanity has been judged. This isn't real. What? What? <gasps> y'all are sick. <laughs> we are not participating in this. The baby is traumatized. The baby is never gonna get over this. Oh my God. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Brooks? Yes. My wife couldn't be here today. This is her brother. Oh. Okay. <laughs> She's a perfect this little angel. A miracle. Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a baby lover. <laughs> oh, my angel. Fuck these people for real! <laughs> Whatever it is, just stop this. Like, ugh. the worst part about that is that I had to see it. Not that y'all killed him. That was your choice. And I don't know what this is specifically, but y'all are making choices. I'm I'm not doing this. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to change the channel for a little bit, okay? Go fuck yourself, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Please his little cameo. Amazing fried chicken. Earthquake centered in the Aleutian Islands, which struck more than four hours ago. U.S. National Tsunami Warning Center. Is this what we're supposed to see? I explained to you what would happen as a result of you not choosing. Honey. They will be released by Redmond's death. Just watch! I know I shouldn't yell. I know you're afraid of me of us. Obviously. And yes, you do need to pipe down. Plenty of time to evacuate the coast. Please let Eric and Glenn go at least. I'll stay. We can talk about doomsday. There's yeah, this would not convince me. Like, sorry, but we are already living in end times. There's a different climate disaster every single motherfucking day. A second massive earthquake has struck in the Pacific, what's called the Cascadia subduction zone. Scientists have long feared would produce a catastrophic earthquake. Um. We did this. We? We have minutes to try to find shelter. 
footage shot minutes ago from Cannon Beach. Crap, this is what I saw. Me too. Ugh. Oh my god. Yes, okay, it's horrific. Um mm. Imagine just standing there and looking at it. There's only one man running right now. <laughs> like, I guess they're in shock, but that's crazy. Like, it's over for me anyway. <laughs> Tomorrow morning you can make the difficult, selfless choice of sacrifice and save the world. Or you can choose once again to let the clock move another minute closer to permanent midnight. Uh, I told you. Shut up, Adrian! The answer is still the same. Everyone in the world can die as far as we're concerned. Am I right, Eric? <laughs> I mean... Eric, I'm okay. I would definitely be willing to sacrifice myself, but my child, my spouse, you can fuck yourself. <laughs> like, we're happy people! <laughs> What's alone? Oh my god. Wow, sweetest baby award. Casting of the century. She's so precious. So full of joy driving up to this house of hell. I wish we never came to this cabin. I wish the ring had never come to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, so cute. It's so pretty out there. Ah! Uh. <laughs> what a nightmare of a nightmare. I'm a nurse. Yeah, the thing I trust more than me is my family. <laughs> my loved ones, my community. How could I do this to them? I said it when I built my weapon exactly the way it was shown to me. I said it when I walked out onto the boardwalk and I saw the others. That's when I knew I wasn't alone. Ew. I may not want to believe it, but we're all on the same side. <laughs> right, Eric. Like, I just, I, I just really just... And then also, after we kill one of our loved ones, then what? Are we just free and clear humanity for the rest of time? Like, is that it? One sacrifice will do the trick? And what do I tell the law about my dead spouse that I murdered? I had to do it. The four horsemen of the apocalypse told me to after they murdered one of their own. Don't get mad at me, please, love. I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm just like grasping for straws, trying to make sure that we are still a team. Say whatever it is you have to say to them. Convince them. Is she going to get help? Is there anywhere to run to? She is extremely capable. She could save us all. <laughs> like, I literally believe that. Leave her alone. Who braided your hair? Was it Daddy Eric or Daddy Andrew? It is so sweet. Were you trying to escape one? Leave her alone. Slay. I told you to do it. Would you not try to save your child? We were targeted. We've always been targeted. We. I'm glad he got his head knocked in. We all met him for the first time on that boardwalk. Stop the bullshit! This is all some kind of sick scam to get us to hurt each other. That's not true. We don't know why each of us is here. It's a coincidence. Go get his wallet. I'll show you his name isn't Redmond. No, we're not doing that. Why? Because it doesn't matter what his name is. <laughs> Everything has to be right. Y'all don't even know what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> Kill each other. <laughs> Do what you gotta, but I'm out of it. Give me my child. Untie me. <laughs> Your scam is flawed. I'm a human rights attorney. How about I show you photos of kids who have been tortured and killed? You want to make a case for humanity to go on? You're going to lose. What is that? It's a picture of some of the kids I coach. Okay. You could hear them laugh and understand why I'm here. Maybe you sleep better. You can see each other easier. I can make 
you all kinds of breakfast burritos. If one of my dads kills the other one, I guarantee you, I will grow up to punish you. <laughs> You're a good person. Yeah, I know that. You're not. Do you know that? <laughs> Like, fuck you for real, this is crazy. Even if I saw these visions and was convinced that the only way to save the world was to convince a family to murder each other. You're having a shared delusion. I couldn't do it. You got online and you found random people at random visions and you took that as evidence. Remember the guy who shot three people in an army base in Louisiana? He was part of an online group. Good job, baby. I know what you did at Thanksgiving. You're gonna do that if I know it. Okay, let's continue. No shade, but the one to get the knife should have been Andrew. I have the opportunity to choose. You have a head injury, my love. I'm gonna be straight up. I'm the next one to go. I'm counting on you, man. You're like my last hope here. Shut Andrew, the fuck up! You can walk out of here right now. I'm not gonna choose you over my family. Just walk out and see. Nothing will happen. None of this can stop until you make a choice. I didn't tell you at first, but I have a son. Over and over again, I've watched my little boy burned alive Ugh. as I held him in my arms. I'm very sorry, girl. I don't know what you want from me. Stop talking, ma'am. Let your time run out. We're not gonna do what you want us to do. His name is Charlie. Girl. He likes pancakes. It's not that I wanna kill your son, but I can't kill my husband on the off chance that it'll save your son. <laughs> Get a grip, come on, this is insane. <laughs> I'm Andrew Down. Close your eyes, cover your ears. We're part of a suicide cult, can't you see that? Please stop this! Why do you put this white bag on your head? Oh, Andrew, you're so close. Oh, you're so close. Get free, get free. P who taught you this ritual of the murder as well? Like the crossing of the bodies, the, the raising and lowering of the weapon. Who taught you that? Was that a vision too? Please stop traumatizing the shit out of Wynn. Ugh. R.I.P. Adrian. Foolishness, if you ask me. Yeah, they were like, Redmond was kind of easy to kill if we're keeping it a hundred. <laughs> we feel a little bad for Adrian. Hundreds of thousands of people are going to die now. <sighs> what if you didn't kill each other? Would the plagues just not unleash? The new developments with the novel X9 virus proving particularly fatal to children. I think I saw something, Andrew. What? What? I think I saw a person or a figure. What do you mean? When? Where did you see a figure? In the light behind you. In the reflection in the mirror. When you were standing behind Redmond. Who was it? Right before you struck him. And? Look at me. I have a severe concussion. We're under extreme stress here. Right, talk him down, Andrew. <laughs> Baby, we are not doing this. <laughs> I've been reading about these X9 cases for months already. This virus is gonna spread everywhere. It's a fucking pre program show! Even if it does spread, how is me killing my husband gonna stop it? The tsunami warning had already happened before they showed up here. I'm clear headed now. Always together. Okay. You don't talk to him from now on, you talk to me. I'm a little in love with Andrew. <laughs> okay, that's a husband. <laughs> when? <laughs> when is like Thanksgiving meltdown. Three, two. I don't want them to get violent with the family. That's my only thing. <laughs> Fuck off, Sabrina. I thought you weren't allowed to hurt us. We have to make the decision to save the most lives. We have to help each other. Fuck you, girl. <laughs> exactly. Are you bleeding bad? How bad is it? Ugh. Where's when? I don't want to be doing this either. Honey, that should already be loaded. Ugh. Like, okay, yeah, you don't put it in the gun, but. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you could just run away, I definitely don't believe it now. They slashed your tires. There's no getting out of there. And y'all are both injured as shit. Phone lines are cut. What's happening in there? Stay back! You were chosen because your family's love for each other is so pure. Drop the weapon and move away from Erica. I'll show you I was chosen to put a bullet in your head. <laughs> Andrew is that bitch. Sorry. You're doing your I'm done with you! <laughs> Finished. <laughs> Fuck all the way off. 
Oh, poor Andrew. Oh, you made him kill somebody. Fuck y'all. I can't believe we're actually going to do this. I have never, for one second of my life, ever doubted loving you. The kid will be watching that every day. How is it you can say stuff like that out of nowhere? It is very you romantic. Guys. Like, that's a husband, honey. <laughs> I'm trying to have a drink with my friends. Oh, we were being too loud? Is that what it is? <sighs> Get your drunk ass back to your seat. Uh-oh, Andrew. Fuck you. You shouldn't provoke them. I wasn't provoking. <gasps> oh, God! Oh, God, it was him. I'm so glad he died. <laughs> I don't feel nothing for his death. Oh my God, that's why my husband had to become a fighter. And I'm glad he whooped your ass before you got the ax. All right, so what you got here is oh my God. Scrum, right? I'll take it. Honey bun. I'm so sorry. And now you done killed this bitch. No, thanks. Are you willing to make a sacrifice? I already made a sacrifice. I'm a killer now. Part of humanity has been judged. This is so drawn out. Y'all have been here forever doing this nonsense. Ugh. What are you doing, babe? Oh, you're checking to see if he's who you thought he was. It's definitely him. It's a Piece of shit. None of this is real, and you were targeting us. No, I'm not a murderer like you guys. So I'm gonna lock you in that bathroom. I must have come in there. Truck or a vehicle. I need to get to that vehicle. You're wrong about all of us. Make the mistake. I will fucking kill you. <laughs> okay. Uh, two is the same as one at this point. Like I will do it if I must. <laughs> God, God. What's he doing in there? He got out. He could be outside and hurt us. I have to make sure he's in the bathroom. Leonard. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna answer now that the tide has turned, babe. <laughs> Big ass didn't go out that little window. Ain't no way. No. Wind can barely fit out that window. He's in the shower. He's got to be, right? He might at least have the sense to lay down. Don't waste another bullet. Leonard, don't rush me, bitch. Ah! That's a thick neck to take on. <laughs> Man, fuck you, Leonard. Oh, you got shot in the arm. I thought you couldn't hurt us. I mean, granted, it is a crazy day on planet Earth. <laughs> I might have to start to believe you. I just don't know. That's horrifying. It really is. Uh, fine. I will be sacrificed. The skies will fall and crash to the earth like pieces of glass. And God's fingers will scorch the earth. Would you stop talking about God fingering the earth? From a 700 airplanes. Have I've heard this before. Excuse me. Excuse me. It is hard to describe the images, the images that we're seeing. They fill us with disquietude and horror. And horror. We, are we are witnessing a collective tragedy. We are getting, we are getting more and more and more. Is this some closed circuit TV? Did you guys pump this in? I'm taking my family. And we're leaving. Everything we've seen. I really think it's all just a coincidence. Are you gonna kill me, babe? Yes. <laughs> Be for I think real. It's a some horrible, unexplainable coincidence. I have to believe that. You already don't believe that. Um, well, yeah, I'm questioning it, but I don't know that I want to kill no, someone. someone. Again. <laughs> And what? I'd like to do this last part outside. When I'm gone, you only have minutes to stop everything. Oh. After that, it'll be too late. Will all the children die? When? When? You need to take your music and your headphones and go to that treehouse that we climbed in. Daddy Eric, please. <laughs> you cannot run back what she's been through. Leonard, but we are enemies no matter how this cookie crumbles. You brought this upon me, you bitch. All of humanity has been touched. You did that quite smoothly. Oh, not the skies darkening. He said you'd only have moments. You have to at least save when. <laughs> but the thing is, like, how do you carry on living after you do the murder? Like, uh-huh. <laughs> 
How am I supposed to raise my daughter well? Eric, there was something in the light figure. And I feel it now. Hey. I believe you. Okay. As the three of us leave. And what? Wander the world? Just us? What about Eric's Maybe family? It's always been. Maybe families have been deciding this all through time. Ugh. Well, let's just walk the earth then. <laughs> He's like, fuck them. <laughs> Also, he loves his parents. They didn't target us. They came here to spend time with us. Remind us of all aspects of humanity. Redmond Malice. Adrian Nurturing. Sabrina Healing. Leonard Guidance. They're the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Mm. I believe we had to see them die. We had to feel their loss. What okay. else? Very much that. That we would be willing to give up something so beautiful to us for everyone else. They're not worth it! They hate us, Eric! They hate that we exist! He's kind of real, but everybody isn't like that. They're monsters! They hurt each other! You're not just the prosecutor. You know there's something to defend. That's where your anger comes from, Andrew. Yeah. Kill me! No, sweetheart. What? Maybe I saw a figure. Maybe I just made it up, but it's giving me peace. I won't be scared. Oh, my God. Do it while I'm thinking the most beautiful thought so that I can have that feeling in my heart to take me right to wherever it is I'm going. Oh, my God. This is fucked up. This is anti-gay. This is homophobic. <laughs> no, <laughs> I resent this. You guys are locking up her office because you guys are going to dinner. She's everything we always hopes for. Mm. Wow, I can't believe she's healthy after what she went through. She found someone who loves her, just like her dad's. If the sky doesn't clear immediately, <laughs> I am going to pass out. <laughs> like, this is atrocious. Why is it still thundering and lightning and whatnot? I should be seeing the motherfucking rainbow by now. I swear. <laughs> if he died for nothing. Oh. Like, how can we confirm that we saved everything though? It's looking quite bleak to me. He has two stub wounds. Hop in, baby. Let's steal this dodge. There's stuff in time. There's a tiger on the Water and kept climbing. That was the end. And two of my girls are, can't swim. And the water just stopped rising. The last of the planes in Australia and Russia have landed safely. In fact, oh! Okay, so we did save y'all. <laughs> this past hour is the first time in many, many hours that we haven't had a death in the ICU. Crazy as hell. Everything's gonna be okay. Crazy as hell. Like, seriously. Sorry about those of y'all that we let die, but you would have done the same if you were us. The proof is in the pudding, girl. We had to eat a couple snack packs before we could believe it. <sighs> like, what about all those bodies? What about whoever owns that Airbnb cabin? Are they gonna, like, come upon those bodies and be like, what the fuck coming out here? You're responsible, Daddy Andrew. Oh, sorry, Charlie. <laughs> but my husband died too, so I mean, I didn't want your mama to be a sacrifice, but I didn't choose her. Like, how are we supposed to live now? Oh, <laughs> fuck you for real. <gasps> Wynn said, This is the memorial. We have to celebrate his life and his sacrifice. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Is that it? Do we get to live happily? Well, <laughs> happily, <laughs> we get to live, I guess. <sighs> I'm not, you sick bitch. <laughs> Why do you always do stuff like that? My god. <laughs> it was different and that the twist was like oh yeah it was the exact crazy thing we said it was all along <laughs> um wow that was upsetting but it was fun to watch the characters were a hoot i was so in love and attached to andrew eric and little baby win i am devastated that eric had to die that's disgusting r.i.p jonathan but all in all, I was thoroughly entertained, I'm not gonna lie. It was a bit strained. I don't know if it has a high rewatchability factor, but like for an initial ride to just start, end, and get off of it, I thought, mm, <laughs> I enjoyed myself. <laughs> Talk to me about knocking the cabin, y'all. What a weird one. <laughs> Happy Pride.
cried. <laughs> Devastating. Stop. Like we're made to sacrifice ourselves because our love is actual and genuine. <laughs> Fuck you for real. Mm. Well, y'all, <laughs> see you next week. I don't know. No. Talk to me about the movie and I will see y'all soon.